OK, so I have my three bar warm up, which I'll just play one more time for you, just so you remember what it sounds like. OK, so there I was leading with both my right hand and my left hand. Now, what I'd like to show you is what I can do with these three bars to take them off of the practice pad, because I find a lot of the time when I see a lot of drummers play, and I visit various music universities in England and around the world, and I watch people play for me, they spend a lot of time on the pad doing lots of really exciting stuff. They may get to the snare drum. They don't tend to use it or the drum kit. They just don't see a place to use some of these technical chops. And, of course, my thing is always to use them musically anyway. Music comes first, then the chops, but um, that's another thing. Um, so this three-bar warm-up, the first bar was a bar of quavers. One and two and three and four and. Now, obviously, I could play this around the drums like this. That, that's great, but it's not really doing much for me at the moment. If I put onto the hi-hat, I get this. which already sounds to me like I could use it in a groove. Because let's face it, a normal groove is one and two and three and four and, like this. So if I can play my grooves accenting the second beat, one and two and three and four and, I could maybe make them sound a little bit different to my usual groove. So I'll play one bar of a very straight groove where I'm accenting the first beat, which most guys do when they play the hi-hat like this. And then I'll play the second bar, playing my exercise of accenting the ands, so that'll sound like this. So I'll play just the right hand first, so a bar of each. <laughs> 